Have you ever wondered what if you just kept going okay. away from Earth? Imagine you fly off at the speed of light. <laughs> All right, uh, any object with mass, this would require infinite energy. As much as I love high power output with nuclear plants, you're not getting there, but okay. 8.3 minutes you'd reach our sun. After Yes, 8.3 minutes. We know that well in nuclear emergency planning for when we take solar flare warnings into consideration. Four hours and six minutes, you'd pass the farthest planet in our solar system, and you'd yeah. have to get through this mess of comets and asteroids. Hyper How long do you think it takes you at the speed of light to get to the farthest object humans have ever sent? It's 23 hours Less and 19 day. minutes. Right. Now, way beyond that, at 29 days, you'd hit this cloud of icy debris. Oh, the Oort cloud. Even traveling at the speed of light, it takes a year and a half to go through it. So that's speculative. We don't know exactly how large it is, but that's plausible. But hold on, at four years in, just as you're passing our nearest star, something weird happens. You notice that you're in kind of a clearing. It turns out that our solar system is inside this local bubble. Oh, at about a hundred years, you pass where the- That's hot, low density gas created by ancient supernovae. And hey, this low density is great because it reduces cosmic ray scattering. Great for deep space radiation calculations. Edge of our radio bubble is now. The distance- Oh, I like that. They assume the radio waves stopped expanding. How polite of them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> our radio waves have traveled out into the universe. Yeah, because in reality, the radio waves would just keep going. It'll all be static at this point. Compared to our whole galaxy, that distance is just that tiny blue spot. Yeah. It would take you 27,000 years to reach the center, and another 50... Yeah, we're kind of in the outer rim. 50,000 years to reach the other edge. Yep. And if you kept going, and going, and going for 40... So we're assuming the universe expansion is paused. All right, so we're breaking several laws of physics here, but why not? 6.5 billion years. You'd reach the edge of our observable universe. <laughs> and beyond that, the light from whatever is out here still hasn't had time to reach Earth in the whole history of the universe. So we're going the speed of light and we're slowing down everything else. That's funny. But yeah, radiation shielding becomes critical long before those distances. Galactic cosmic rays and interstellar hydrogen really gonna mess up your spacecraft. But we're already breaking laws of physics, so we might as well just ignore that too. So maybe you'd find out. <laughs> Why not?